All right, it is my favorite time of the show. Time for Wellness with Molly. And you know, I think I really would love to have a jingle to sort of introduce these segments, uh, like something along the lines of like New Girl or something like that. So if you think that Wellness with Molly segments should also have a jingle, I think you should call in and say that. But more important matters at hand. Let's talk about wellness today. So there was recently an article in the New York Times that came out a couple days ago, I think it was last week, that basically said the wellness industry, the article was literally called Smash the Wellness Industry. So naturally I was intrigued, I opened it up, and really what it said was that wellness in 2019 essentially means weight loss. And I think for a lot of brands and a lot of companies that is the case, and that's what so many companies are pushing. They're pushing weight loss and being thin and being toned and, and diets and, and different meal programs in the name of wellness, right? But so I wanted to talk to you today about how that's not the case, and especially with my company, Medicool, where we do integrative wellness and career career coaching, wellness is so much more than weight loss. And we actually take what we call a whole person approach where we look at eight different areas of your life that all contribute to your overall well-being. So I think we'll pop up here on your screen in a few minutes, the Medicool Wellbeing Wheel, and it shows you all eight areas. So you can, of course, see the two most obvious ones that, that are sometimes associated with weight loss, right? Like new nourishment and movement. So that's your nutrition and your fitness. But then there are six other areas on there that are just as valuable. Things like your mindset, because how you approach everything every day, how you feel when you wake up in the morning, how you feel when you go to your job, how you feel about what you're eating and, and how you're moving your body is so important. Things like your community and your connection, how, how often you're connecting with other people, whether it be friends or family, can really fill your cup. There are so many studies out there about how it is so important to connect with others on a regular basis because it does so much for your mental health. Also, restore. That can be things like getting enough sleep or just really practicing self-care, really taking care of yourself, giving yourself breaks when you need so that you can really recover from all of the, the stressors of your daily life. Things like your surroundings. This one, you know, sometimes people don't think about it. It can be as big as the city you live in to as small as how cluttered your desk is. I know for me, my mental well-being is completely trashed if my house is completely trashed. So like, for example, you know, when, when they say a, a clean desk is an empty, is a clean mind, uh, things like that. But then we also talk about your purpose and your passion, you know, how driven you feel to do what you're doing every day. And then your personal development, your, and your professional development, both are so important. So we really like to look at all eight areas of your life on this wheel. And I encourage you, we can upload it to, uh, to tv8.com if you want to download this wheel or you can visit my website, metacool.com, where we've got a copy of the wheel. And it's good to just, I honestly keep it, keep it hanging in my bathroom on the mirror so that I can make sure I'm really fulfilling all of those areas on a daily basis because even when just one is out of whack, you know, it can really be detrimental to your health overall. So that is your wellness tip for the day. Coming up, we're going to take a quick break and then look at that local weather forecast. <music> 